body now I'm going to ask you to very carefully just think about what we're going to see it's going to be a little bit difficult for you this is a bird it's an eagle but it's caught something which can be quite nasty to look at if you look carefully Viam's going to show you now he's on camera it's caught a little mongoose you see that now a mongoose, unfortunately, that mongoose is dead and that Wahlberg's eagle is going to eat the mongoose and I know that can be quite difficult to see. But of course, these eagles have to eat as well. They're allowed to eat in the same way you know that you and I eat meat sometimes. So it is that the animals out here that were designed to eat meat, they also have to eat meat. And so I think this very clever bird just killed this mongoose right now while we were sitting just looking at that Nyala. Isn't that a clever bird? Mongoose not easy to catch, very difficult to catch actually. Now it's going to start eating. It's a baby mongoose. That's why it was caught. It wasn't clever enough to get out of the way. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you what I'd like you to do, everybody. I'd very much like you to try and tell me what this makes you feel. Can you ask your teacher or tell your teacher to tell me what this makes you feel? Do you feel like this bird is very clever, it's very strong, it's very powerful, it's very amazing? Or do you feel, oh, nature's quite cruel, shame, the poor baby mongoose? Tell me what you think you feel and make it very short so we can get through quite a lot of answers if possible. And sometimes nature's difficult to watch, isn't it? Sometimes it's very difficult to watch something like this because, of course, we don't like it when a bird like this has a problem. So let's just watch it for a little bit longer and see what happens while your answers come in. And this is also a good place to be because we can also scan down, looking down below the damn wall here to see if that leopard doesn't come through. Now, you've just met Brent. Brent is walking down through there where VM's showing you. There we go, he's walking through there and with any luck, he, that leopard is definitely close by. We're sure of that because the Nyala were shouting. They wouldn't have shouted at a bird like this. Hmm. Now, Ellie, there are two questions here that you've asked basically, although you've only asked one. You say, do these birds only eat rodents? This this bird doesn't eat, only eat rodents, it will eat rodents, like squirrels, and, but it will also eat lizards, it will also eat other birds sometimes, but a mongoose isn't a rodent. A mongoose is a little carnivore. Now one day, when you get a little bit older, you'll learn about how the different animals relate to each other, but a mongoose is not a rodent, it's a kind of carnivore. In other words, it's closely related to dogs and cats. I'm just going to sneak a little bit forward so that the tree doesn't keep falling in front of the bird's face. I just hope it doesn't fly away. Shall we try that, Vim? All right, thank you, Kingston School. Great answer from you. Five of you said this is amazing. Five of you said this is really sad, but most of you said, well, this is life. Well, it is life, isn't it? And sometimes life can be really quite difficult out here in nature. Well, and for human beings as well. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this bird is called a Wahlberg's Eagles, and it doesn't always live here. Sometimes it lives up in North Africa. When it's winter time here, this clever bird goes all the way up to North Africa so it can stay in the summertime. Now, Constance, you're wondering what eagles eat other than other animals. Eagles, Constant, are carnivores, so they only eat other animals, but sometimes they eat small animals and sometimes things that we don't think of as animals. Termites, for example, are animals, and eagles eat termites quite a lot. And they eat ants sometimes, and they'll eat other kinds of insects, but those are all animals. 
Jada, you want to know what this bird's real name is, Kurt. So you're listening carefully, Jada. It's named after a chap called Wahlberg, and so it's called a Wahlberg's Eagle. This particular bird doesn't actually have a name, although because they always come back to the same place every year, so they go to North Africa, like I said, for the winter time, and they come back here for the summer, and was it summer where we are now? And because they come back to the same place, I've given this one and its partner. They come back as a couple. I can't tell which one's the male and which one's the female because it's almost impossible unless they're sitting next to each other. So I call this one Mrs. Wahlberg or Mr. Wahlberg, but it doesn't actually have a name like you have a name. Calling it a Wahlberg's eagle is like calling you a human being. It's just the species that it is. Well, Brian, you got a very good question. You say, oh, you see how tired he is? <laughs> you want to know how strong this eagle is? I don't know how strong this eagle is exactly, Brian, but I'll tell you a story about another kind of eagle. The biggest eagle that we get here is called a martial eagle. And the martial eagle is about twice the size of this eagle. This eagle is about one and a half feet tall. And, um, sorry, I just need to turn my radio down. And so call this one about one and a half feet long. The big martial eagle is about two and a half feet tall, two and a half to three feet tall. So it's a very big bird. And it's able to sit on a man's hand. So if you can imagine a man's arm, you know how strong your arm is, right? If it sits on your arm, it can squeeze hard enough to actually break the bones of a man's arm. That's how strong they are, just by sitting there and squeezing. So they've got very, very, very strong muscles in their feet, and that helps them to kill their prey. And I just wonder if this one's not going to perhaps start eating. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's starting to eat. Alan, you say the bird is strong. Ryan, you say it's amazing. And Lydia, I've forgotten what you said. What did Lydia say it was? Look at that. And very clever. You see, eagles are clever. Very clever. I would agree with all of you. Strong, amazing, and clever. Now, why do you think it's not eating? Well, I'll tell you. It's not eating because it's looking around the place, thinking about what could come and steal the meal from it. Now, one of you wants to know how many times a day it will eat. Um, and a bird like this doesn't have to eat every day, actually. That meal will probably last it about two days. It seems to have seen something. Look, it's looking around the place. I'm just watching the air. I'm looking around to see if there isn't something that might be coming to steal it. So another bird might try and steal this bird's prey. It, too, won't be happy to see the leopard. If it saw the leopard, and I can't see the leopard anywhere. Oh, look, I think it's going to be sick. Watch, watch, watch. That is amazing. Jayan, you say, what noise does the mongoose make? They actually make a very specific noise. And when they saw this eagle coming, and when its family saw, unfortunately, the little one being taken away, they make a noise like this. They get And that's called an alarm call. Remember I told you about the kudu, at least the nyala's alarm calling when they saw the little leopard? Well, that's what a bird like, at least a mongoose does when it sees a bird coming to get it. It goes, tick -a -tick, tick -a -tick, and that means to all, it's a message to all the other mongoose to get out of the way and move away quickly. Right, let's head across to Brent and find out if he's managed to find that little leopard yet.